How many crashes does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a bad Marvel game? Let's find out. I'll try to keep it concise. In Marvel's Avengers, your game will crash, or bug so hard that you need to restart. Whether it's hard crashing, falling through maps, or enemies not spawning and doors not opening, you will simply be stuck. Sometimes after investing incredible amounts of time, in the extremely repetitive heroic hives. In this game, there is no ping system, even though it's desperately needed to clue in the tragically stupid companion AI. In this game, you cannot join a session in progress. In this game, the patterns that you earn will be consumed without granting you a skin. Unlocked skins will also revert to being locked. Pretty wild, right? Considering this game's trying to make us pay for skins, like real world money. You get next to nothing for dismantling the game's highest level gear. You're forced through loading screens to travel to the anthill and the helicarrier, even if all you want to do is collect some faction missions for XP. Chests continue to dispense comic books well after you've collected all of them instead of converting them to credits. And at the time of this recording, there are only two villains to fight in what Marvel's Avengers calls its endgame. And that emphasizes the game's biggest deliberate problem, which is a lack of variety. Do you like boss battles? Do you consider this a boss battle? Honestly, I doubt you'd care if you could fight the absolute monster of a gallery that Marvel has for villains. But guess what? Actually, you can only fight two, Taskmaster and Abomination. <laughs> what? Did you think six launch heroes meant that you could fight at least six villains? Maybe Loki for Thor, something like the Mandarin for Iron Man, Competence for Miss Marvel, maybe Red Skull for Captain America, or even better, since Bucky's files have been found in the game, you could introduce Winter Soldier as a villain we have to beat some sense into before he then joins our fold. We could even keep fighting him as a villain in different missions and just say he's a clone, but nope. As it stands, at launch, there are only two villains <laughs> in Marvel's Avengers. I bet you'd think since there's only two, that they'd work too. But as the footage that I've showed you has made abundantly clear, whether the bosses aren't even moving, whether the bosses are trapped behind a friggin' door, the two bosses they put in this game don't even work. I'm getting ahead of myself. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to work. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to work. These are words uttered by an in-game character in earshot of the fabrication machine, which ironically does not work. Time and time again, like a vending machine eating your money, this machine will take your patterns that you earned from sitting through a mission and award you with nothing. And here's why this is particularly hilarious. Patterns are a mission completion reward that the fabrication machine exchanges for random skins. Skins that the game will bank on you wanting enough to actually charge you real money for because you'll probably end up thinking that the designs in this game, the original designs, were made deliberately ugly enough to pressure you to spend. And from what I understand, even people unlocking skins by other means are seeing them revoked by bugs in the game right now. These aren't just visual bugs that'll inevitably be fixed and don't hinder gameplay. These issues are game breaking and affect all of us. We're beta testers. All the footage you're seeing has been captured by me. These glitches are so frequent that they happen to all of us. The visual soup on display at times in this game is absolutely insane. Dia and I play this and she has to stop because it would give her a headache to continue playing. And it's not, it's not just like a, oh, some people have this issue and some people don't. This exists in every game. The game is playing tricks to try to get away with not loading too much. And it's despicable. Lacking heroes, lacking villains, lacking locations, all because Crystal Dynamics is waiting to try to trickle in content over time. If you were to guess what locations would be featured in a Marvel game, you'd guess like New York, home of the Defenders, the Fantastic Four, I don't know, fucking Spider-Man. You'd guess Asgard, 
Wakanda, the Avengers Tower. If you're a if you're a comic book fan, you'd be guessing the X Mansion, the Savage Lands, Atlantis, Latveria. But because Marvel's Avengers has a teaspoon worth of the Marvel Universe in it, they're drip feeding us garbage like two hot archers coming at us, bro. Instead of time and space being bent and adventures with Doctor Strange or the Scarlet Witch, the Sanctum Sanctorum as a fucking hub, we're gonna be getting back to back archers, bro. Two archers. So to summarize, skin patterns that get eaten by machines, you get nothing. Skins that disappear from your inventory, wildly overpriced emotes when there's no emote wheel, so you can only use one emote at a time. What year is it again? And it gets better. You cannot preview any emotes you mean to purchase with in-game credits from the vendor on the helicarrier. You can only preview it in the marketplace when buying it with real cash. It gets better. You can still get trapped in the vendor screen as it forces you to make an overpriced purchase with the credits that you've earned unless you close the application. You can't make this up. You'll probably end up thinking to yourself, they can't actually expect us to give a shit about these emotes if we can only use one at a time. What is this created in a vacuum? It's 2020. Statistically, it would be impossible for the entire dev team of all of the different people that came together and made this game to have never played or even seen Fortnite, which is hosting its own season of Marvel shit right now. And you know how they sell those emotes? By making it so you can see it before you buy it, and by making it so that multiple are available to you to use in-game. What are you thinking? And the emotes are bad. There's no dances. There's no infinite emotes that'll last until you stop it. It's like it's all an afterthought. And you know what it clues you into the fact of? The emotes aren't this game's emotes. This game's emotes are the takedowns. These are flashy in-game moves that players can use on critically injured, stunned enemies. Think execution in any other game. These are available to purchase with real money, $12. $12 a takedown. Five takedowns and you can buy this game. Allow me to say that again. For the price of five emotes, you can purchase this $60 game. Do you deserve $12 Crystal Dynamics after I paid you $60 for this broken game? No. This is the selection other Marvel games have. These are the locations other Marvel games have. And while the combat and the skill depth and occasionally the graphics are my favorite part of your game, I don't expect that this title will be worth people's attention until at least 10 heroes and villains bring some variety to your game. These are some of the Marvel heroes who at some point have been an Avenger. But, oh wait, this is your own made-up story that takes place in the Marvel Universe Crystal Dynamics, you are limited only by your own imagination and when and how to implement literally any character. With multi-dimensional heroes like Doctor Strange, time travelers like Cable, even though I know you're fucking terrified of the X-Men right now, you could literally just have people pop up. You know, you don't want to use the X-Men, use your Inhumans who are really just X-Men stand-ins. Poor X-Men stand-ins. Dude, I feel you. Dude, I feel you. Is that phrase old enough to drink? It would have taken you only two seconds to jump on TikTok and see what little motherfuckers are saying these days. But nope, couldn't be bothered to do it. It was too much effort. For God's sake, Crystal Dynamic. You could have had us fighting dinosaurs popping down to the Savage Land for just one mission. Who could complain about variety in a game where you're playing as Marvel heroes and you're fighting friggin' dinosaurs, dude? It's Monster Hunter. It's Marvel's Monster Hunter. Please catch up, okay? Get to where you should have been at launch, and any other game would have had, like, sexy skins to dangle in my face, but Crystal Dynamics, we already know that you only allow men to have fun and be sexy in this game. And honestly, since there's genuinely nothing to buy, I can't help but feel that the marketplace hasn't really shifted into full gear. You know what I mean? Full throttle microtransaction mode. And rightfully so. Because I don't believe this game deserves a nickel.
until it fixes its broken state. I'll end it by saying this, the tragedy of this game is the squandered potential. No one would have dreamed that a live service Marvel game would come out and not have these locations. For real. I don't want to hear it's coming later because this two villain ass game is a joke. Multiple levels of Hive would not feel as boring or repetitive if instead of from elevators taking us from room to room full of fucking robots every floor, what if we were going through portals? And each wave took us to a randomized one of these locations. Imagine if the harm room, which is supposed to be all, you know, holograms. What if you could set it to be Asgard for this round? Set it to New York or Wakanda? You know, it's a it's a holodeck in there, right? You already showed us the uh, Miss Marvel turning into Iron Man. Why can't everybody play as Iron Man then? If we can all just turn into other heroes and have their powers, why can't we all play as one hero? Think of like you establishing or setting up a mission that is built for multiple Iron Men or multiple Hulks. There's so many things that you could do to break up the monotony and tedium of this game and make it fun. But I guess this game is more for people who like taking pictures in photo mode or overreacting with tears in their eyes like this is a Star Wars trailer. I guess also for people who, who think annoying Kamala Khan is the, the video game's Mother Teresa and it's like a cultural win worthy of a Nobel Peace Prize that she's in the game at all. Way to make a big deal of it, you know what I mean? The X-Men did it better. They told a more competent story. And, uh, well, you know what? Let's not go there, okay? I was actually banned by some virgin on the Avengers subreddit because I'm apparently a bigot for thinking the spectrum-worthy shrieks of Elastigirl, uh, Elastifangirl, <laughs> weren't the definition of a nuisance. These are the characters that Marvel's Avengers has in the game files. I think this game, I think it needs about three of these people released. Not, not the archers, not, not you. It needs about three of these heroes released and definitely at least five to six villains before this is even going to be worthy of, of people looking at it. I, I would be ashamed to recommend this to somebody right now in this state. And, uh, you know, when they finally roll that out, maybe they can mess with microtransactions in a bigger way, give people what they want, an emote wheel, you know, uh, sexy skins, dances, you know, MCU skins, you know, you could drop them MCU skins in a bundle and charge $50 for it the very same day. It'd be nothing but hundreds of people stream and talk about, all right, so look, man, I just got these MCU skins. Da, 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 da. I'm going to play it to the Marvel soundtrack from the movies. Jesus. The biggest hope that Marvel fans have for this game is probably that come next generation, Crystal Dynamics just gets up on the mic and is just like, all right, everybody, listen, we're going to upgrade your copies for free, but we're shutting it down on the old generation. It was never meant to play on that anyway. And, and and then all of the problems will go away for PC and the new generation. That's the biggest hope that this that this uh, this game's community has right now. But you know what? I feel I feel like we about to hit Anthem Part Two. If y'all don't, mm, boy, you know. <sighs> Honestly, I think I think I've decided whether this ship floats or sinks. I'm going to ride it. I'm going to ride it with my with my Captain Crystal Dynamics here, man. This must be what Destiny players feel like. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Here's here's hoping it's entertaining. Mm. God, this video is therapeutic. You sons of bitches.